Hello guys and gals and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 Map Review. I'm Buddy 1927 and today the map we are reviewing is called Mars Terraforming by Farmer Bob. And this map is a multi-fruit map with 14 different types of multi-fruit. So this map is unique. It's not your basic farming map. This is a a map made by Farmer Bob. This is a map that he is developing. You are actually going to be transported to Mars, where you are. your job is to actually start terraforming the planet. And by terraforming the planet, you must plant trees, plant crops, and foliage, and stuff like that that will help produce oxygen to create an atmosphere. This is actually part of SpaceX program by Elon Musk where they sent robots ahead to set up the farms. Now they're going to send farmers up there with helpers to help plant the crop and start the processing of terraforming and actually producing a atmosphere on this planet. And your goal, start producing food for the colonists that will be coming and shipping back any excess food back to Earth. And it's not just planting crops. You also have, you need to produce meat and stuff like that. So you have chickens, cows, sheep, pigs that you use. I mean, you can have chickens with that produces eggs. You can have chickens that are just for meat process. You can have your dairy farm and your cattle on here. Two sheep on here if you want. It comes with one sheep. You can have sheep that produce wool and then you have sheep that you produce lamb. And then you get your pig that produces food and you take the manure that's produced by all these animals and help fertilize your fields. So you need to plant grass. You only have 13 fields on this so I wouldn't take one of your 13 fields to produce grass. I would make a field on this map to produce grass and that way the grass grows and produces oxygen. Holy, you get trees on this map that produces oxygen. You get your plants that produces oxygen and you got other things that you can actually start producing so let's take a look and the reason why i'm on this at the start is to show you the entrance on how you actually go into this map it's interesting so let's go ahead you are arriving on mars by spacex and you're ascending you can see you are on this crater okay you just exited from the rocket and I, that's the first time I've noticed, but you got an American flag upside down. <laughs> that's a sign of distress. Um, but let's just go ahead and walk off of this. Let's, um, there we go. And now we ascend down. And we're on the ground. Now, Farmer Bob did ex an excellent job. That's the gantry that we... We landed up top, we came off of there, and then we just came down the gantry. And that's your rocket. Now, if you know anything about um, making maps and setting things up on a map, he did an excellent job. Because there's only certain items that you can use in Farming Simulator 19 Editor. And he did an excellent job on the gantry and on the rocket. And making these things here so let's start off with what you start off with on this map so let's bring up the map first okay you got these are not um cell points these are what we call destination points so let's start off with the fruit you got your regular fruits then you have 14 different types of multi-fruit. You got alfalfa, rye, mullet, clover, charlic, whatever that is, carrot, onions, hops, tobacco, poppy, lettuce, cabbage, red cabbage, and splint. So that's what you start off with. You have 13 fields. They're all the same size fields. These were set up by the robots. And on this planet, as you plant, things grow slowly. You're on Mars. You have a very limited atmosphere. You have to set up an area you have to somehow have water for your crops because it doesn't rain on Mars. So you have to set up a special plant to reclaim any water that might be in the atmosphere or any water that's in the ground. And what if water is shipped from Earth to here to help set up the farm? You have to be able to use the waste product of that water and clean it up so you have clean water. So there's lots of things on this map that we can do. You can see that it's actually a pretty good size map. It's a regular size map. I'm doing a series on this map. 
I'm going to be playing a series on terraforming Mars. And one of the things I'm going to do is actually setting up a road to where I can get up out of this crater and start using some of this area and maybe take, maybe flattening some of this, these mountains here. I'm not going to, I'm just going to create a road that you can drive up and we can use the rest of this. So there's lots of good options here for what you want to do. Okay. Let's get out of here and we'll go to our garage. You have no, you do not start off with any equipment. You do start off with a cow pasture, a pig enclosure, a large sheep pen, a chicken coop, another chicken coop, and you have silos to store all your goods. Um, this holds five, uh, 500,000, this holds 100,000. Four of those, that's 4,000, so you got 900,000 worth of crops. You do have a, a cedar station, a liquid fertilizer station, herbicide station, a fertilizer station, and a farmhouse, and a lime station. That's all you start off with. You do not start off with any equipment. Your job is to actually start with this you come here, you got to figure out what type of equipment that you need. You order your equipment. Um, you got to start producing some food. So then you, once you got food being produced that will support your animals, then you can order your animal to start growing and producing eggs with chicken and meat with chicken and milk with your dairy farms and beef for your, from your cattle, wool from your sheep and lamb from your sheep, produce meat from your pig so you can start producing and storing food for when the colonists arrive. And like I said, you can expand the, this map. This is actually a, it's more of a role playing type map than a regular map. Your job is not make money. Your job is to produce food. For the colonists and start terraforming the atmosphere by planting grass by planting plants that will produce oxygen that will go into the air and start creating an atmosphere your job is to produce food your job is to produce livestock your job is to make sure that the livestock will reproduce so you have these different types of items that you can produce so let's start off with this dome here and one of the, i like this building and he did an excellent job because he designed this. I like the way the, the doors fold up. It's just like it, like what SpaceX uses in their hangers. Close that door. Then you come to this door. This is an airlock that we're in right now. So you got you got thin atmosphere here, but this is pressurized. Now you got this dome, this glass dome. It looks like. It's over here, but you can look and see everything in here. Let's bring up the map and we'll close in here. We're in the dome and right now we have a barn. Place to place your hay items here. You got a spinnery here. This is where you, you would put your hay bales and stuff here. You got a spinnery on the other side where you can place your cotton and wool. For clothing and stuff like that. And then you got your animal dealer here. Where you will order what you need. And what's interesting about this is you hit R. Right now it, it tells you what type of pens you have. You have one large pig pen. So you order for that. Then you can order for your large chicken coop. You got two of those. There's a second. Then you got a large sheep pasture. You order your sheep from here. Then allow cow, cow pasture. Then you can start ordering what you need. And it's it's nice. It's unique. And it's all sh all that. I All these items will be shipped by the rocket and arrive here. So let's close this door. And open this door. And let's close this door so that way we have produced so let's go around the outside here clockwise all right next set section we got some towers here you got wood chips over here and this is your fuel processing plant and I'm trying to figure this one out instead of put instead of using canola corn you know stuff to produce fuel you actually just use wood chips. I would get rid of the wood chips if Farmer Bob is watching this. I would get rid of the wood chips and 
put a place in so you can put canola or, or something like that that can produce fuel. And this is your fuel pump. So you store your fuel in there and then you come in here and refuel all your vehicles. Since you're in this crater, you don't need to have all these separate uh, fueling points on the map. You just have one and it's right there. Okay, we got a, an antenna communication. Our next one is export to earth. So you got uh, water towers, you got liquid towers here, you got some more liquid stuff here, you got some granary bins here. Okay, let's go to the next building. And our next building is a wood processing plant. This is where you will sell your logs. So you dump your wood chips over at the um, diesel fuel and you sell your logs right here and the robots planted a, a small forest which is why you have a thin atmosphere right now because the trees are producing oxygen. so you got a very thin atmosphere right now that you can tolerate the atmosphere here on earth um, I do want to talk about the uniform so this is the official SpaceX farming uniform you have your John Deere hat, which helps you breathe on this planet. You have the green plaid shirt, which represents that you are a the head farmer on this planet. And you got your blue jeans. And these are all designed for the rigness of space. These are specially designed. Un this is a specially designed uniform just for this planet. So you got this. This is your uniform. Or you can change colors if you want. But I like the green. And I am a John Deere fan. And John Deere is sponsoring part of this program. For SpaceX. They will provide some in the series. They will provide the equipment. Now, here he has got another radio tower. We got several. We got a windmill up there producing electricity. Here is a mining section. Now, you can't use this section right now. Unfortunately, um, oh, let's walk right through there. Got a little cart so you can go into the mine and stuff like this. This map is still under development. Okay, His goal is to eventually to upgrade the map to where he has mines so you can mine coal, salt, ore, gravel, at sand, and silt. The mining process. He has not started that. He eventually will be adding this on. Now he has his own website and a blog and the description is in the description over on Mod Hub USA, which there is a link down below to this. Okay, we got another, we got three water towers there, and let's go to this building. And in this building, we have two the two chicken coops that you seen earlier, and we can set up different chip, chicken coops over here if we want. This is where you get your chicken, you order your chickens, and this is where they're placed. I would I would set up one pin just for your egg layers and the other pin for meat processing. You got different chicken you got chickens that are just designed for meat processing and then you got chickens that are just designed for egg laying. That's what I would do. Okay. Oh yeah and when you come in Close, open one, you open this door, close it, this is your airlock, so this is pressurized for air, regular earth atmosphere the, for right now, because the um, animals cannot survive on this atmosphere right now, because you haven't produced enough oxygen. Let's go into this building, so this is where you, are, you will enter, you close it. You're now in the airlock, let it pressurize, and you can hear, you can hear the air processing through the airlock. I like this. He did an excellent job with this map. Okay, this is your cow farm, and I think you might be able to place two cow farms in here if you use these. You might be able to. I'm, I I haven't got gotten that far, 
that far. Remember, close that door, then open this door. Let's go to the next dome. Open the door. Then close the door. Now it's pressurized. Now open this door. You can hear the air, that air rust. I love that. This is your sheet pen. And you should be able to have a couple more sheet pen in here. You start you off with one. Um, you don't have any animals when you start. Because you got to produce the food for the, sheep, uh, for the animals before you can produce... There, and as, as this should be our pigs. Let's listen to that. He good sound effects on here. And this is your pig pens. This is where you have your pigs. You can have, you probably could place a couple different pig pens in here. Or if you have one large big pig pen that you want to produce, and don't stand on there. Okay, close the door. Now. This is where you reclaim your water. All your dirty water will go in here and then it's processed through and all your clean water will come out here. So this is where you will get your water from. This, you got another antenna behind here. This is your dealership. Close the door. Once that door is open, now you can open this door. And this is your dealership. This is where you can repair, sell, or repaint, or whatever you need to do here. Well, your vehicles that you have. This is where you will order. And they give you a cup of coffee if you want, and a microwave meal. You got another hat rack there. And you got a little lounge as you're waiting for your order. You to drink some water and a fan and some pictures. Let's slow things down here. And let's see. And a picture of a tractor. So you order your equipment here. Or you can order it the regular way. But your equipment will arrive here. Okay, we'll close that door. We got windmills here, and we got solar, a solar farm that produces our electricity while we're here on this planet. So that's not too bad. Um, that's just the fueling station for the rockets. But we got large open areas. Over here is your, your fields that the robots have already turned and... They're all ready for planting right now. Um, they need lime. So I, I would lime all your fields, plow your fields, cultivate your fields, then plant your fields. Let's go over to here. That's some more water towers here. You got some silos. This is your chemical farm. This is your chemical plant. And at your chemical plant, you have your seed dispenser. You have your fertilizer. Your You have your lime. Your herbicide. And your liquid fertilizer. This here. Open up these buildings here. This building's here. Doesn't have airlocks. This is where you can store your equipment or your goods, and, and that way it keeps the this red dust from getting on your equipment when you're not using it. So we got that, and then you got some more tanks and stuff like that. Okay, our next building here here in the center of the map is our command center. We got radar radar towers, we got a little Doppler radar right there. 
we got other radar towers throughout place throughout the map but this is your um, command center where you where all your orders everything that you you know if you order animals or if you order equipment it's all routed to this building right here and sent to earth and then they will ship a rocket with the supplies that you need now over here we have some more solar panels for electricity here you can hear the um, computers and generators for this for the, the um, space command center and these here are your living quarters for your farm hands and this here is your living quarters oops that's which you can walk in maybe you can walk in here let's take a walk let's get some pictures you got a fan you got a couple of brooms a uh, broom and a mop and a bucket keep the place clean this is a couch to to use as a recliner and it folds out into a bed you got your own entertainment center right there you got a refrigerator you have a water cooler you got a place to hang, hang your jackets and stuff like that and this is where you will eat your meals from a cup of coffee and all your meals are microwaved and you got your air conditioner up here so these are the buildings on this map so let's take an aerial view and you can see what I'm talking about so let's just close this and we'll just go up where at the center of the map and you can see this is actually a large area this large areas that you can plant your grass and I would plant grass all over the place where where it's not corrupted I would not use one of your fields to plant grass for hay and grass set to feed your animals I would take sections like I would take sections like this section on the back side back side of the um, trees to plant your grass you go you know this section over here to plant your grass I would plant grass all over this place um, you know this section right here plant some grass plant some grass over here in this in these areas down below and what I would do in playing a series on this map to where I would build a road up to and out of the crater and this is go down real quick because you can actually access this area let's you, know, you can come, come up here can I access but if you need to repair so you need to build a road so you can access this equipment and what my goal is I might level this area off a little bit more so, so I have some more room and I got some mods I will use. Come on, up, 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 up. I know you can get up. There we go. That I can place up here that I can use to produce some stuff. You know, you, you got a little watchtower over here and with equipment and stuff like that on it. But I would level some of this area, level some of these mountains off. I mean, he did a good job with this map. But that's what I would do. That's just me. And you know, you got spaces over here. Uh, he actually has some grass here. Well, some weeds are growing right now. I didn't even notice that. But you got areas that you can actually level off. You know, maybe maybe bring a road through here and access this area and stuff like that so that's what I would do and um, watch the series that we have that I'm going to be doing on this on this map let's get here and we'll just hey we're falling ah! this has been Mars terraforming by Farmer Bob
he actually did a good map, a good job on this map. He is going to be doing a ver different versions of this map. He's going to be continuing expanding this map to where we can do mining eventually on this thing and certain other items. He's going to be continuing editing this map and uploading the new one. So this, the link for this map is down below in the description. It's on modhub.usa. Um, link down below in the description. I will be doing a series on this map. So check out the series. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and bell. That way you can follow the series I'm doing and other videos that I'm doing. And when I go live on YouTube. And do me a favor, hit that like button. If you like I get helps my videos get seen a little bit more on YouTube. As always, have fun playing your game. Be safe out there in the world. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.